Hola people from the house. I'm hoping people are staying indoors. I've been going on and on and on on my Instagram. I feel about people staying indoors. It makes me so mad when I still see people going outside, going to clubs, stay inside. Okay, so I look crazy or I look okay. It's been like a week since I did my Cosmolan Melasma Peel with Dr. Tatiana that does like all my skincare and stuff like that. Peels, everything. Which is actually, if we want to look at this like Corona thing a little bit positive, it is the perfect time to have some cosmetic downtime <laughs> from like treatments and stuff that you can do. And Dr. Tatiana is actually... Uh, still open and they're very very like clean there like after each and uh, each and every person that walks into her office she like cleans everything and she's like super like anal about it. it's been a week and you can see that i'm like peeling this is not like hair <laughs> coming from my chin it's actually uh skin falling off and um, it's worse here on me for some reason overall my skin looks okay i have put makeup on now um just to like try and look a little bit cute at home. Um, but um, yeah, I still look crazy, but I would say it's sort of like okay one week after the treatment. So I thought that we should talk a little bit about the process and like the different um, like products that I've been using in case you guys want to do the same treatment. I haven't styled my hair so I'm just like tossing it like in different directions but anyway I don't know if you saw when I had the peel so I'm gonna like tell you about it so first you start with some skincare products at home that you put on your skin for like two weeks and then you come into the clinic and you have sort of like a pre-peel um, which is super quick and I didn't even like notice that much just except for the fact that my skin got like really really shiny and nice looking and then two days after you come in and you put on the mask I don't know if you saw that but it was sort of like a clumpy green brownish mask that you wear for eight hours you walk home with the mask and you wear it for eight hours and then you wash it off at home and this is the wash that I'm washing my face with and I had the same wash uh, before I had the peel as well so it's sort of like a whitening foaming wash I like it it's a little bit like drying so you definitely feel like dryness on your skin while you're doing this but it's meant to sort of like be that but at the same time your skin looks really really shiny so i don't really mind it i like it not sure actually if i'm supposed to put this on still this was sort of like something that i was meant to uh, use it's a whitening serum and uh, that i was meant to use like before my peel but i actually still apply it because i loved it so much and i felt that it really really helped with the redness so one big issue that i have is that my skin tends to get like really red and after just the two weeks of like using this serum i felt like a lot of the redness that i was experiencing and was the reason that i wanted to get the peel uh, had already like disappeared just because of me using this serum uh, so I, I highly recommend it and then now this is new this is what you're starting to use after you have had the peel done on your face and you start with this two days after so not straight after and um, so this is a little like mud cream uh, mud cream mud peel ish thing that you put on but you're not supposed to take a lot of this because I've seen people that has taken a lot of this like after they had the peel and they completely ruined their skin because they use it they overuse it so they sort of like get like burn holes or what's saying there's not burn holes but like where it gets like you're, you're ruining your skin basically because it's like peeling too much it's really disgusting so you are supposed to only use um, pea size a really really small size of this one uh, each time you apply it and you're applying it three you have this one which is a recovery cream so it's mostly to just like soothe the skin get rid of the redness and I apply it after I have applied um, the peel and then I have a SPF which I love and it's a SPF 130 
uh, because this treatment is very important that you're not out in the sun after you have done this treatment, obviously. So I've never seen actually an SPF 130. It's insane, but I love it. Uh, because it's so like lightweight and also it's colored so it's not white it's more like brownish uh, so you do look I mean since I'm very red underneath it's not nice to apply like a SPF that is white on top of it because that's when you end up with like looking like all purple and like really really bad um, but since bad um, but since this is like brown, you actually end up looking like really, really suntan uh, on your face. I have tried to like match it with like spray tan on my body uh, because my skin, like my face looks really, really like tanned uh, because of this. So I can highly recommend this. I love it. And then since I usually apply SPF, and then I put makeup on, like now is the first day I wore makeup, but I'm gonna apply this for like a month, so. Um, I definitely need something to spray on top of my makeup, so I have another SPF that I'm sort of like spraying on top of it as I go, uh, because you need to reapply your SPF for it to work. I have done that mistake before. I did a CO2 peel, like, I think like a week before I went to Ibiza and then I went on a yacht. I don't think I even like was in the sun like that much, but apparently the little time that I was in the sun, I managed to get like huge pigmentations here and it's so bad.